How to find fibrosis score by using liver stiffness result. Your doctor will evaluate your liver stiffness result and medical history to find out your fibrosis score. Results also depends from normal level to advanced. Normal level. This means your liver has no scarring or mild scarring. Moderate and severe level. This is liver scarring that can be reversed by treating your liver disease. Exercise. Good nutrition and healthy lifestyle changes can also slow down or reverse the buildup of scarring in your liver. Advanced level. This is last stage called fibrosis or cirrhosis, which is a late form of advanced liver scarring. Often, this condition found in chronic hepatitis patients in the long run. Know your liver stiffness result. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Hope you are doing your best. How to read FibroScan report result. You will learn this video. I have shared the easy process by which you can also understand yourself. Please watch this video till end. What is elastography? Liver elastography is a non-invasive test liver or gastro doctor can use and monitor about your liver's health. It is non-invasive, means nothing is put inside your body. What is FibroScan? FibroScan is a type of liver elastography. It is a high-level and special ultrasound technology that measures liver stiffness means hardness and monitor fatty changes in your liver. These measurements help your doctor to evaluate your liver condition. FibroScan is mandatory for every hepatitis patient to diagnose the liver disease. How to study your FibroScan report. Here are some helpful terms to know related to your FibroScan results. 1. Fibrosis. It means scarring in your liver. 2. Liver stiffness. It means level of hardness in the liver related to liver scarring. 3. Fatty change. Means an abnormal buildup of fat seen in your liver. 4. Steatosis. It means a condition caused by having too much fat accumulated in your liver. 5. CAP score. CAP means controlled attenuation parameter. The way to measure in percentage of fatty change in your liver. Fibrosis and steatosis. Both are measured separately from one another. Your doctor will talk with you about your results during your appointment. Fibroscan always done in an empty stomach to get the better report of the liver. When you are go for Fibroscan you should do it in first half in the morning means 8 to 10 a.m. with empty stomach. You can drink water normally before testing. Cap score. CAP score to find out your steatosis grade in the liver. CAP score is measured in decibels per meter in medical term it is decibel per meter. This score will range from 100 decibels per meter to 400 decibels per meter. CAP score and steatosis grade both are fluctuate, can go up or down over time. Normal livers can have up to 5% of fatty changes in them. A score below 238 decibels per meter means the amount of fatty change in your liver is not higher than normal. How to check CAP score? The following table shows ranges of CAP scores and the matching steatosis grades. This table will indicate how much of your liver is affected by fat buildup. 
Decibel per meter score steatosis grade portion of your liver affected by fatty change. 238 to 260 decibels per meter. S1. Less than one third means 11% to 33%. 260 to 290 decibels per meter. S2 between one third and two thirds means 34% to 66%. 290 to 400 decibels per meter. S3 marathon two thirds means 67%. How to check liver stiffness result. Your liver stiffness result is measured in kilopascals in short form KPA. Normal results are usually between 2 and 7 kilopascals. Result may be higher than the normal range if you have hepatitis or liver disease. The highest possible result is 75 kilopascals. How to find fibrosis score by using liver stiffness result. Your doctor will evaluate your liver stiffness result and medical history to find out your fibrosis score. Results also depends from normal level to advanced. Normal level. This means your liver has no scarring or mild scarring. Moderate and severe level. This is liver scarring that can be reversed by treating your liver disease. Exercise, good nutrition and healthy lifestyle changes can also slow down or reverse the buildup of scarring in your liver. Advanced level. This is last stage called fibrosis or cirrhosis, which is a late form of advanced liver scarring. Often, this condition found in chronic hepatitis patients in the long run. CAP score results also depends from normal level to advanced level. Normal results are usually between 2 and 7 kilopascals and the CAP score result may be higher than the normal range if you have hepatitis or liver disease. So, here is the entire list sharing in the table diseases wise. Please take a look once it is mandatory to know every hepatitis patient. Some conditions can affect your fibrosis results. If patient have the following complications such as following. Liver inflammation or swelling. This can be caused by a recent liver illness. It can also be caused by long-term use of heavy alcohol. Benign. There are small tumors are formed in the patient's liver. Liver congestion. This means, your liver is too full of blood or other fluids. This is usually caused by heart failure. Fibroscan may give less accurate results, or no results at all if you have. Obesity. This means your body mass index, BMI, is higher than 30 or a high, unhealthy amount of body fat. Ascites means fluid building up in your belly. This will happens when the liver condition will be worse. Biliary obstruction. A blockage that does not let enough bile flow out of your liver. Scar tissue. Tissue from surgery or radiation built up near your liver. Your doctor may use imaging tests, such as ultrasound, CT, or MRI to see your liver condition. They may use blood tests like LFT or a certain type of MRI to measure scarring and fatty changes in your liver. If you like this video please like and share this video more and more. Please support our channel. Thanks for watching Great Wisdom Discover. We will meet you with new update in the next video. Thanks for watching Health Wisdom.